For many people, student loans can be a significant financial burden that can take years or even decades to pay off. However, there are ways to discharge student loans that can help alleviate the financial strain. Discharging student loans means that the borrower is no longer responsible for paying back the loan and the remaining balance is forgiven. A stack of papers labeled student loans is being shredded by a machine. A smiling figure looks on. There are several ways to discharge student loans, including through bankruptcy, disability, and public service. Bankruptcy is a legal process that allows individuals to eliminate or reduce their debts, including student loans. However, it is difficult to discharge student loans through bankruptcy and borrowers must prove that repaying the loan would cause undue hardship. Discharging student loans due to disability is another option. Borrowers who are permanently disabled and unable to work may be eligible for a discharge of their student loans. So additionally, public service employees, such as teachers and nurses, may be eligible for loan forgiveness programs that discharge a portion or all of their student loans after a certain number of years of service. Understanding student loan discharge. Student loan discharge is the process of cancelling or forgiving a borrower's obligation to repay their student loans. There are several types of student loan discharge available and eligibility criteria vary depending on the type of discharge requested. Types of student loan discharge Total and permanent disability discharge. Total and permanent disability discharge pet deed is available to borrowers who are unable to work and earn a living due to a physical or mental impairment. Borrowers must provide medical documentation to prove their disability and undergo a three-year monitoring period to ensure they remain disabled. If approved, the borrower's student loans will be discharged and they will no longer be required to make payments. Closed school discharge. Closed school discharge is available to borrowers whose school closed while they were enrolled or within 120 days of their withdrawal. Borrowers must have been unable to complete their program of study due to the school's closure. If approved, the borrower's student loans will be discharged and they will no longer be required to make payments. Public service loan forgiveness Public service loan forgiveness upself is available to borrowers who work in public service jobs and make 120 qualifying payments on their federal direct loans. After making 120 qualifying payments, the borrower's remaining loan balance will be forgiven. Eligibility criteria for discharge. Eligibility criteria for student loan discharge vary depending on the type of discharge requested. Borrowers should review the specific eligibility criteria for each type of discharge carefully before applying. In general, borrowers must meet certain requirements, such as being a US citizen or permanent resident, having a qualifying loan type and meeting specific employment or disability requirements. Overall, understanding the different types of student loan discharge and the eligibility criteria for each can help borrowers determine if they qualify for loan forgiveness and provide them with options to manage their student loan debt. Navigating the discharge process. Application procedures. When seeking to discharge student loans, the first step is to determine eligibility for the various discharge programs available. Each program has its own requirements and application process. It is important to carefully review the eligibility criteria and gather all necessary documentation before submitting an application. One of the most common discharge programs is the Total and Permanent Disability PD Discharge. To apply for this program, borrowers can complete an application online or by mail. Borrowers will need to provide documentation from a physician or other qualified medical professional certifying that they are totally and permanently disabled. Documentation and evidence. In addition to providing documentation of disability, Borrowers may need to provide other evidence to support their application for discharge. For example, borrowers seeking a discharge based on school closure will need to provide documentation of the closure, such as a letter from the school or a news article. It is important to carefully review the documentation requirements for each discharge program and ensure that all necessary evidence is included with the application. Incomplete applications or missing documentation 
can result in delays or denials of the discharge request. Handling potential denials. If a discharge application is denied, borrowers have the right to appeal the decision. It is important to carefully review the denial letter and understand the reason for the denial. Some common reasons for denial include incomplete or inaccurate information, missing documentation, or failure to meet the eligibility criteria. Borrowers can appeal a denial by submitting additional documentation or evidence to support their claim or by requesting a review of the decision by an independent hearing officer. It is important to carefully follow the appeal procedures outlined in the denial letter and provide all necessary information and documentation to support the appeal. Navigating the discharge process can be complex and time-consuming. However, with careful preparation and attention to detail, borrowers can increase their chances of success in obtaining a discharge of their student loans.